Updating in batch systems, steps in a batch process. Now, when batch processing commences, all data collected in a transaction file is prepared for processing, where each transaction executes in the same way as a single real-time transaction. The difference is, in a batch process, it would include multiple transactions, hence the name, batch. Okay, We're processing multiple transactions at a time that are stored in these transaction files. And through doing this and through doing it through this process, we're applying the same automated process to each transaction within each transaction file. After all these transactions have been successfully processed, the updated records are permanently written into the system's master file. And that's obviously the main file, the main database that's used by the system. Okay, and that's it. The transaction is done at that point and fully completed. If any errors are detected in the batch process, a rollback of the system will take place using a relevant transaction log, which has the details of the issues uh, have then written to an error file. So let's try to illustrate this process. So here are the steps in the actual batch process. Firstly, the transactions are collected and organized into batches. So here might be a transaction list okay, of all the transactions that are occurring throughout the day. These transactions are all then compiled into a transaction file. So we need to organize all these batches and compile them into a transaction file. From here then, we need to store these transaction files. So we store them and we sort them in a specific order. And that may very well be by date. So all these transaction files are based on transactions that occurred on different days of the week. We date them and you can also see I've applied a foreign key to them all. That foreign key is going to help us when we do update the master file in that we're linking these transaction files to a specific primary key on the master file. So next step is do the batch process. Okay, the transaction files are processed in order with the same automated process being applied to each uh, file. So we do them all because it's an automated process being done by the system. Each actual transaction that is stored within these transaction files has the exact same method applied to each one by the system automatically. So they're all going to get processed in the exact same way and thus why they all need to be stored and saved in the exact same format for this to occur consistently. Then finally, after the batch process is, takes place, we need to update that master file. So the master file is updated with the key field within the transaction file, matching with the same field of the records within the master file. When that is done, we can successfully say that the master file has been updated and the batch process is now complete. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of updating in batch systems, how the actual individual transactions are stored within transaction files. The transaction files are then stored all together and ordered based on date and obviously it assigned a certain key so they can be updated at the time of the batch process. Then obviously we execute that batch process and through doing the actual processing of all the files, we then write up and update the master file with the new updated data from the batch process.